back again with another home tour video for y'all. Y'all already know the drill. Uh, we are out here. Hopefully the acoustics are good in here. We are out here in the historic heights off of uh, Main Street in Studimont. Um, this house is listed at seven hundred twenty-nine thousand. It is a it's a three bed, two bath in the main house, and then it's got a garage apartment, which would be a one bed, one bath. Um, the main house is square footage, about 2,400, and then the garage apartment is about 400. This house is 92 years old. It was built in, I believe, 1928. And, I mean, you'll see it in some of the things. This house, super awesome, um, being that it's 92 years old. I'm going to flip you around. I'm doing this at the end of an open house, and I've got a lot of great feedback. It's the reason I love doing open houses is because I learn so much about people, what they think, and then what the neighbors think about the property that's coming up. I'm going to flip you around. We're going to do the voiceover deal. Tell me if what you think about this house. Comment below. You already know, Drew, if you would like to see this house in person, let me know using the information in the description below. Be safe, drive safe, and drink water, people. I'll catch you in the next one. Appreciate it and let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Original hardware right there, I didn't notice that. So as soon as you come in here, you're looking at your living room. So you see your dining room and then your kitchen in the background, real open space as you can see here. Um, this house was built in 1928 as mentioned before and they did try to keep some of the charm from 1928 here. A uh, little half bath right underneath the stairs got people coming over they can use this half bath uh, so that's kind of nice and convenient and then the next room we're going to move into is actually your first bedroom they kept the glass on the door there so that's really nice um, i'm gonna walk you over here as you can see the neighborhood really nice little neighborhood uh, i'm gonna walk you over here i wanted to show these windows because i thought they were so cool uh it could be a plus it could be a, a negative point being that they kept the original um, windows I really like them I think they're they're super kind of neat to keep you know the character of the home all right let's head upstairs so this is where your third bedroom would be at I mean you could use this area for storage you could use it like an office space um, yes to get the obvious out of the way uh, the roof slope of the roof does kind of cut into some of the square footage you know above you but I mean, you can still set up a bed in here. You can set up an office in this space. Use it just fine. Um, it's got a little storage area over here. It could be used as a closet. All right, so what I would do here actually to use this space is to have maybe a bookshelf run along this wall. Use it for storage space. I think that would kind of be a really nice way to use the space here. I think they did a great job with how they designed the bathroom by using the slope with the shower in the middle, the commode, and then the sinks. And they keep this same um, type of countertop throughout both houses, so you'll notice that here. Uh, let's go ahead and head downstairs. Um, so the dumpster across the, that you see next door is actually looks like that house is being remodeled as well. Not by the same people or anything, just thought I would mention it to show that the neighborhood is changing. New cabinets throughout stainless steel appliances this would be a great place to entertain because the kitchen is so large all right so let's move into the primary uh, bedroom your master bedroom oh it's got a little yard space as well um, that you can put your dog in or have like a little play set for the kids double sink here stand-up shower and it's got a tub you know what I'm saying? You can imagine yourself bathing here, bath bombs, awesome. Um, window in the closet, I like. A little bit of natural light coming in. That's, I, I think, a cool feature. I'm glad they kept. That's an exterior door right there, which you'll see here in just a second. Plenty of storage in the kitchen, as you'll see here. This is going to be the pantry I'm going to show you here in just a second. Plenty of storage. And then over here, this is where your washer and dryer would go. So it's just right off the kitchen there. And then this door right here leads you outside. I was trying to give you a good kind of perspective of what you would see as you kind of would walk outside of this door. All right, let's head into the garage down here. 
So there's going to be a few comments that I'm going to make here. For one, this is the garage space. They were kind of using it like a meeting room space. I wanted to take a second to pause here, and the background is actually a half bath that's not really counted. So that's obviously going to stay, so that's kind of a cool feature in your uh, garage to note. And then this is actually, they're willing to replace this and put it back to be a garage again if need be. So uh, as you would come out here, it's just something to note. Uh, that it can be converted and as we go around the side here um, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about so like I said the garage doors are still there they're willing to convert it back so that way you can have a usable garage again all right let's check out this um, garage apartment here now this garage apartment in my opinion looks like it's been here almost as long as the main house uh, I say that because of the type of windows they use so I mean, you can imagine, you wanna build a little wealth right here. You could easily rent this out, Airbnb it now that we have Airbnb, uh, make a little money, you know what I'm saying, and, and rent this out. This would be a great little space to do that. Pretty simple little garage apartment. Um, we're coming to the end of this home tour. If you wanted to see this property in person, uh, just let me know and I can set it up. If you need help with finance and let me know and I can get you uh, in contact with our network of lenders um, yeah super awesome you try to move to the heights I mean this is it right here you can have a little money coming in have a nice little starter house I mean this is great um, y'all take care let me know what you think about this I love the little little sink let me know what y'all think I'd love to hear from y'all y'all take care